Say goodbye. Ah, right, bye. Ooh. Man, that is a really nice house. Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of People Playground. And yes folks, we are back once again, and today we are back with Jeff. Now Jeff is afraid of heights, and he's afraid of stairs, and well, we're going to make him face his fears here today. So Jeff's up here at the top, this is a fantastic looking creation. And uh, we need to give him a little encouragement, a little, little nudge here. Come on, Jeff. Actually, we probably want to follow him here. All right, come on, Jeff. Let's, let's, uh, uh no. <laughs> He's like, nope. I wish they need, like, a shove button where I could just shove him off this. You know what? Well, I got an idea, actually. Uh, let's go ahead and pause time real quick. We're going to give him a little bit of a nudge here. It's not going to be a big nudge. It's just going to be a, a nice little soft nudge. All right, Jeff. I dropped it. All right, let's try that again. Alright, so we're going to give him a little nudge here. Okay, make sure we're, uh, let's just set this right here. That way we're holding on to it. Okay. Alright, Jeff, we really need to move here. Am I still following you? Yeah, here we go. <laughs> uh oh, oh, the hammer. <gasps> Wait, Jeff did it. Okay, can we get a round of applause? Yay, Jeff did it. Were those stairs to the maximum height? Yeah, they kind of were. Can we add another set of stairs to this? Hold on. I feel like he wants to go even bigger and bolder. Uh, nope. Nope. Okay, that looks like a good drop. Okay, Jeff. We got one more attempt. Are you okay? Is there a broken leg there or something? Hold on. Let's go ahead and fix him up real quick. All right, here we go, Jeff. Uh, oh, no! Oh, that's... Okay, that's not a pro... Jeff, okay, you know what? Let's just go put him back up here. That was not appropriate at all. All right, so one last attempt uh, with the stairs here. Now, I have an idea for today's episode. A lot of people like the life syringes. And I thought about making a contraption that launches them, or attempts to launch them, or maybe just kind of blends them around with the fan. And I want to see if we can keep people alive today in, like, really, really bad contraptions. So, we're going to give uh, Jeff one more push here, because I want to see him fall down another set of stairs. So, let's go... Oh, oh, oh no, that was a... Oh, something broke. Something broke there. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh. <laughs> Okay, Jeff didn't survive that one. Oh boy. All right. Come on medics. Uh, let's go ahead There we go and Jeff's okay a uh, little bit of blood loss, but eh, For the most part, he's actually pretty decent and let's just go ahead and hit him with the zombie syringe, too I really wish there was more to this zombie syringe. Uh, there could be so many cool things that you could do with it uh, Now Jeff's a zombie either that or I Oh, never mind. I think the life syringe is actually fighting with the zombie syringe right now. Oh, there he goes. Yep, and... There we go. Alright, he's a zombie now. Wait, does a zombie... Oh, yeah, I forgot the zombies are really, really bad as far as the pieces. Yeah, <laughs> he explodes instantly. So, there's still some other things that I want to check out before we go and create something here. We got another creation here. This is called the Big House. Oh, you know what? Huh, I think this needs to go a little bit lower. There we go, that's perfect. Look at that, this looks like definitely somebody lives here. They got their armor on the wall, you got like a little dining room, there's a uh, emergency fire extinguisher, there's a bed with a, uh, a pillow that looks a little bit questionable, but you know what? This is a nice house, and for a nice house, we have to have a nice family in here. So this is gonna be Logan, Paul, Jake's down here, Jeff's over here. That looks pretty good, and then uh, Henry lives in the attic. All right. So, how how sturdy is this house? Is it... I'm going to make sure it's not frozen or anything. Uh, unfreeze. Oh. That's why it's frozen. Yeah, the structural integrity on this thing is uh, not very strong. Okay, uh, let's reset that. Alright, so the house is back. It's going to stay frozen because that's the only way this thing's going to stay up right now. Also, I just now noticed the shower. How do you get into the shower? Can we... Can you get into this? Oh, you can. Okay. You know, they always say, like, uh, during a storm or a tornado, if you don't have, like, a, a good shelter or closet, uh, I guess getting into, like, a bathtub is, like, the next best thing. I don't have any tornadoes here, but I do have bombs. I mean, we could shoot the house. We could light the house on fire. Uh, even though fire in this game's a little weird. Like, to me, it doesn't actually really act uh, the way it should. Or at least it doesn't spread the way I want it to, but we can go ahead and give it a try. Oh, well... As soon as I said that, never mind. 
Okay, that spread way better than I thought it was going to. Oh, no! Uh, the person in the attic, I think it was Henry. Oh, okay, this whole thing's burning down. Uh-oh, okay, so we know the, uh, officially know the shower is not that safe. Uh, we can put this out. Uh, where's the extinguisher? Uh, get the extinguisher. I gotta remember where it is. Okay, here we go. Uh, all right. Uh, come on. I got this. I'm gonna save. Oh, I can't get it inside the house. Uh-oh. Okay. Uh, come on. <laughs> it's okay. Uh-oh. The table's on fire. Is it gonna spread to the next person? Okay. There we go. Oh, yeah. The, you have extinguisher inside. I forgot about this. Wait. How do I... I need to delete these. Oh, I don't want to delete the extinguisher. Hold on. Let's go ahead and cut that one off. Nope. 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 Uh, I'm trying here. Nope. Okay. Uh, just pull it. Pull the- okay, just- here, just set it off. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think that was Henry. He's- yeah, he's burnt to a crisp. Uh, this one's not too bad, huh? Let's get him over here. Oh, oops, I forgot I just caught something else on fire. This is fine. Okay, you know what? Let's just test this thing. How about we drop a car on it? That might be kind of cool. Or a semi, actually. Let's go. Ready? Boop. And slow down time a little bit. I want to be able to see this. Oh! Okay, so with that thing being frozen, it's not going anywhere. Huh. Well, I guess that means we can only do one thing to it, and that's going to be an atomic bomb. Say goodbye. Ah, right, bye. Ooh. Man, that is a really nice house. <laughs> Too bad everybody on the inside turned to skeletons. Well, it was cool, huh? Let's, let's just go ahead and do it. Let's just, might as well. Uh, it's going to go unfreeze. There we go. That's nice. Very nice. All right. So check this thing out. This is the apocalypse train. This looks horrible and in a good way. Like it's got a tank on the back. It's got a turret on the front that's going to take people out. So say if we were to stick, I don't know, like an android up here. Oh, 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 oh that's cool. Oh. Alright, so it doesn't take androids out, but it does take people out. I'm pretty sure the android, if it was touching this, though, it would... Okay, I think it just... Uh-oh. Um, so I think the gunner up there just got shocked. I'm not really sure why. I think I did something wrong there. Alright, so how does this thing move? Can I just activate everything at once? Uh, activate, activate. Okay, activate. Uh, uh, I'm trying to hit all this. Is there, like, a, a master switch on this or something? So if I were to go boom, boom, boom. Oh, there we go. Dude, check this thing out. This thing's amazing. I want to stick stuff in front of it, including people. Hold on, let's follow, uh, let's follow this up here. That way we can get a closer view. All right, we're going to stick some people in front of the apocalypse train. Oh, uh, man. That is cool. Oh, what happens when there's a vehicle in front of this thing? Uh, let's go car. It's like a Mad Max battle, and boom! Uh-oh. Okay, it's now launching itself through the air. This is fine. That is amazing looking. Does the tank... I'm pretty sure the tank, you can still get it to fire. Yep, you can still get it to fire. Tank doesn't have any sort of targeting as far as, like, the, uh, kind of how the auto turret is. All right, hold on. Let's, uh, resume full speed. Dude, that thing is so amazing looking. Uh, fairly, I would say, simple concept, but... Execution on this thing uh, is great. I should really stick the ramp in front of this. Now this is fine. All right. So, like I was saying earlier, I kind of want to experiment more with syringes. Uh, a lot of people seem to really like the effects that they do. So you can either create a life machine or the ultimate zombie making machine. Now I've kind of got a little bit of inspiration here. Let me go and freeze this real quick. Check this thing out. This is a spear launcher. So you can see you get the spears here. Uh, they've Actually, oh man, they're actually attached to mini thrusters. And what happens is this magnet deactivates, I guess, at the uh, this little lever here, and it drops the hammer. The hammer goes through the sensor. The sensor then triggers uh, the thrusters here, and the thrusters launch off into the person, which I think I have this a little too low. Let's move it up just a hair. There we go. So you can kind of get how this is working. Now, what if instead of, or actually maybe on the ends of these, you would have syringes? That's one concept. Another concept I had was just maybe blow a bunch of syringes around with uh, fans, but let's see how this one works real quick. Okay, so it hits that, trips it. Okay, so it's going to activate those. Oh! oh! 
You know how I thought that worked? Okay, so those, oh, those are reversed. So it's just making barrels here. I thought maybe the uh, thruster was gonna go with the spear. That's actually genius. So yeah, the barrels, or the thrusters push the spears out. So, in theory, hold on, let's see if we can kind of retrofit this machine here. Uh, can we get it to shut off, please? Uh, does this, is that, does that shut it off? This is a loud one, but, okay, hold on, here, put that, let's trip it again. Okay, there we go. So, yeah, like I said, in theory, we can go, let's go and grab syringes. Let's make a, uh, a life syringe one first. So, you can load these into here, right? Okay. This machine's perfect for this, I think. As long as those don't explode. Now, it's aiming a little high, so... Hold on. We're gonna have to, uh... We're gonna call this one Jeff, too. Hold on. Oh, man. Those things speared this, uh, wood over here. That's cool looking. Alright, Jeff, let's go ahead. I need you about right here, so let's go ahead. Pause time real quick. I think his head's about to separate. Okay. Uh, uh, nope. Never mind. Oh, I need, I need to slow down time. Right, get up here. I know this doesn't look very comfortable, which it's not supposed to be. Okay. Slow motion. Uh, there we go. No. Nope. Trying to stick you to the... You know what? We should probably just shoot this off at him. All right. So we just need to break the plane here. All right. So let's go... Actually, I want to watch this in uh, slow-mo real quick. Uh, let's go and go. Whoop. And whoop. There you go. It does it. It launches a- Oh! Oh, he got hit by one, but did he actually- I don't think it pierced him. Hold on. No, it definitely didn't pierce him, but still, it works. It doesn't destroy the syringes. So, in theory, you can launch these things out and either create a life machine or a zombie machine. Okay, I gotta put my mind to work here. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a couple updates. I'm gonna make a machine probably fairly similar to this. I probably won't throw the magnet up at the top. I'll just do a simple tripping mechanism. And yeah, I think it's gonna be cool. All right, so I've started my machine here. It's using the same kind of a launching mechanism that we just checked out on the last machine. So you got the mini thrusters that are turned around. Uh, you got little beams in here and they'll shoot them out. So what I'm gonna change up here, I'm hoping that say if we shoot out something metal, which at first, we're going to be doing the syringes, which I don't think... Maybe they don't have any metal to them. You know, I haven't even tested that. I'm kind of curious. Is there any metal? I mean, in theory, the needle would be metal, and it would stick to a magnet. So, say if we launched them across, I don't know what kind of trajectory these things have or what kind of travel. So, in theory, I was going to activate a, a really strong magnet on this side, and I froze this beam here. So, say if they don't go far enough, the magnet should suck them against the wall. And uh, that way they go through anything that needs to be uh, changed over here. So I've got that. This is probably the best mechanism that I, I could think of as far as uh, after I saw the creation that we just checked out. Because I thought about maybe just doing fans and just tossing the syringes around, but it's not accurate. So I guess a lot of times they're not even going to stick into people. Like this is a guaranteed way, I think, to keep the person somewhat safe. Now, one thing I do really wish was in the game, we have the little, uh, let me find them, the detectors here. There would be, uh, it would be cool to, if there was like a death detector. You have the life detector, and that signals when something living is in front of it. Which, that's okay, I guess you could use that, uh, for a zombie machine. So I could put a life detector, say, down here. And say we want to turn people into zombies, I could throw living people down into here, it'll activate the machine. But I would love to see a death sensor. Which, yeah, all these, you got like a motion one and, and just a normal detector, but a deaf one would be cool. So say it senses something dead in front of it, it would activate the machine and shoot out life syringes. Which would be really cool. But, I think we're going to make this into a zombie machine. So I'm going to place this sensor here. So anything that's standing in here, that's alive, should activate the machine. It's going to shoot out zombie syringes. So, yeah, we're creating zombies in this machine. It's kind of weird. Maybe I'll uh, put a fan at the bottom or put something where I can eject them out. Uh, we could put one of these. <laughs> uh, I think we need to move the sensor up though. I'm going to eliminate maybe this bottom one here. There we go. Let's delete this and we're going to move the sensor kind of up at an angle here. And we'll stick it about right here. That should work. 
All right, so we're ready to test the machine. Like I said, pretty similar to the uh, one we just checked out. The sensor setup's different. So I have my life sensor here. Uh, it's connected to a generator, which would, I guess, turn on the thrusters if I have this right. So let's go ahead and put in a zombie syringe. So we can go zombie, 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 and zombie, okay? So, all I've got to do now, I think, is stick a living person up here, right? Let's go and put this in slow-mo. All right, let's go. Okay. Oh, there it goes. So, it activates that. Oh, wait. What just happened? Oh, he's out of range of it. Okay, so this thingy here needs to be moved. Okay, I got you. Why did he burst into... Oh, I think he got a little puff of the... Uh, on. Here, you go out. Nope. Oh. No, 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 don't, don't hit the machine, don't hit that machine. Oh, he isn't going to trip the sensor because he's not living. Okay, so let's try this again. Uh, maybe a little closer, so, boom, person, what? Oh, the sensor's getting blocked, okay, hold on. Alright, oh, oh, no! So, the mini thrusters are a little, I mean, it's doing its job, this guy's now a zombie. But the mini thrusters pushed him so hard. I don't even know if we need the magnet. Which, by the way, let's go ahead and hook that up real quick. And see if that even works. So let's go boom, boom, boom. I think that's all frozen. So that does not attract those uh, syringes, I don't think. So this side of the machine might pretty much be pointless. Now, if you're doing spears or something, this would probably work. But yeah, yeah, they don't attract to it at all. That is a creepy looking zombie because it's so fried, but it's trying to get up. All right, well, the machine works, but it needs some uh, a little bit of a fine tuning. All right, so let's put these over here. Oh, that one just launched. So, yeah, you can, I mean, these are mini thrusters. Could you imagine using a large thruster in a tube system like this? You could launch probably anything, including like cars and stuff, which would be pretty spectacular. Alright, so I've moved the wall back. Now what we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and add a couple more life sensors. That way we kind of cover our area, which I think I could just stack these. So we'll say we'll stick one here, probably one here and here. So let's go and freeze this real quick. Uh, move this one up a little bit. Uh, move those out of the way here. Oh, that is the uh, launch pad, which I don't think we need this right now. So we'll do this. We'll move this one up here and this one up here. And then we'll just select them all and let's go ahead and freeze them. All right, so I'm just going to hook. So I think this will trigger any of them. So if any of these get hit, uh, it'll go back and trigger the machine, which is great. But yeah, we might on the next episode, like really make like a huge launcher of some sort. Uh, let me know what you guys think. If you guys have any suggestions, uh, let's go and hook all those together. Okay, so let's activate these. Oh, uh, wait, what? What did it detect? Oh, wait, so, wait, why is that activating? What is it detecting? Or is that just the way that works, that it can only be that end one? Huh, it, it might only be able to be the end one like that. Okay, so the end one's on. Okay. So, hold on, let's hook these back up one more time. Okay, oh, you know what, I think Activating this actually triggers it like you just need to have just a sensor on That's what it is. Okay. Let's load this thing up real quick. So let's go zombie Syringe these load up perfect. So yeah, I'm trying to think of other things that we can launch here. Okay, so we got that All right, so we got the zombie maker. Let's go ahead and do, 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 do. Oh! <laughs> oh, and it starts pushing them again because we still have living people all right, so how many zombies did that make? Just one? Uh, oh, we got one confirmed zombie here. Oh, the... Oh! Wait, that's another idea, too. Hold on, we got two zombies now. It's spreading. It's spreading the virus. Oh, man, those thrusters just melt. I mean, it's only mini thrusters, but they melt people. So, I mean, you can create zombies, but ideally you would have the launch pad. Okay, so that's the final thing that we need to do here. Uh, let's delete this group. Uh, no, actually, I don't want to. I think I just want to delete the top here. There we go. So delete these. So what I want to do now? Okay, so that's off. This guy over here is on fire. Sorry, buddy. 
So I want to put a launch pad right here at the end, so that way we can try to launch him out and spread the uh, spread the disease here. So let's go, boop, right? Oh, that thing barely fits. Hold on, let's. Uh, okay, how am I gonna get this to fit in here? Maybe like this, and we'll just forget the last sensor. Okay. Nah. Actually, that looks good right there. All right, let me freeze this real quick. There we go. All right. So let's try this again. All right, so we're ready to go. Let's go humans. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, there we go. So it launches those out. Uh, did we get a successful? We might need to reload this thing. No, oh, I don't think it was successful. You can make the tube even bigger and you could stack the syringes. So say like do like three in a tube. That would work too. All right, oh, I need to move this guy here. <laughs> Okay, so uh, so I guess when your zombies are ready to go, we got two, I think, that are active. Oh, we got a third one that's turning. So when you're ready to unleash them, you would just go... <laughs> and launch them that way. All right, I got some thinking to do. I do want to thank the creator of the Spear Launcher because that gave me some really good ideas. I think I want to make this thing huge. So I'm going to be working on that. If you guys have any suggestions for the machine, let me know down in the comment section below. Thank you guys for all the love and support on this series. You guys are absolutely amazing. And we will see you guys next time in People Playground. <laughs>